Hi, welcome to this quick overview how to generate variable data in ArtPro Plus. Head on over to learning.esco.com, click on the ArtPro Plus and How To to access the training files as well as a tutorial that will guide you through the process of how to set up variable data in ArtPro Plus. This will show you how to convert images to variable data external files, set its properties, perform checks, and finally expand the file. Let's have a quick look at the tutorial, clicking on the play button and the start button. You can see here a step-by-step -step description of how to convert the background image into a variable data external file object. We will do this together in just a few minutes, but let's have a quick look through this tutorial. It instructs us to click on the image using the convert to variable data file object giving it a new name and then going into the properties to open the variable data object inspector and this is where we will be able to connect the database which is a comma separated value file to this image Let's see how this is done. Go ahead and open up the simple 3upstart.pdf. Select, for example, the name and head on over to the top left to the variable data section. This is where we load the comma separated value file. where we see the 54 different records. We can visually inspect these by scrolling back and forth through the database records. Here we can see all the variable data objects that have already been introduced in these three different labels. And up here we can see the inspector. This is where we connect the database record to the text or object in question. Okay, it's time to convert this background to a variable object. Let's go ahead and select it using the create variable data object from selection we will convert this and instead of referencing to this path pointing to this file, this Photoshop file, we will highlight, remove this and using the insert field we will pick up the background one field from the quote unquote database. After clicking on insert, this now becomes a variable data object. Notice as this image gets positioned in the placeholder, we have resize options. Non-proportional, proportional or relative scale values. Let's go ahead and repeat this for the second and third image.
Once all the images are made variable, we can again visually inspect the database, or alternatively, we can use the preflight feature to preflight the expansion. Here we can see that there are two messages, one related to an object outside of the trim box, and the second message indicating that static objects are placed above variable data objects. We can interpret the records by clicking on the messages. Head back over to the variable data tab to perform the actual export. Here you can export this to a PDF, a gravure TIFF, variable data, or a JDF layout. Once exported, you can go ahead and visually inspect the final result. Hope this quick tutorial will help you to use this powerful variable data feature in our Pro Plus. And as always, thanks for watching.